Waldorf College currently has about 400 students living in the dorm. For these students, these rooms are like a temporary home. It's pretty lively that people enjoy themselves. We've got guys hanging out in the halls playing games or people in the lobby playing pool, watching TV. RAs like Carissa Vetch are responsible for enforcing the safety procedures such as the escort policy. The escort policy is basically if you have someone that doesn't live in the building, they have to have someone that lives in the building escort them wherever they are. So if they come in from the front door, you have to come get them from the front door and then everywhere they go, whether it's the bathroom or another friend's room, you have to be with them. If we catch someone not with their escort, we have to give them a warning and then if we find them again, they're either kicked out of JNL or banned from the building. But even with a good policy, the policy still gets broken. In general terms, we had uh, three males enter a hall that don't live there. Uh, they went up to a room of two females. Alcohol was involved, so um, that I think has a lot to do with some of the behaviors. Uh, those particular students are, are not on campus right now uh, for, the, for the time being. It really hurt when I found out about it. I was actually on duty the night of the incident, and I felt partially responsible even though it happened later after my duty was long over. You know, I, I wish that there was something more that I could do personally. Although incidents like this one rarely happen at Waldorf, safety remains a major priority. I would say it's one of our number one priorities. It's one, one of the reasons why students come here. Every campus has its flaws, but Waldorf College has taken every step necessary to make sure that we try to be safe. Maggie Hawley, Wall TV News.